So your factory built aux cable is just not cutting it anymore. Today we're going to build a high fidelity aux cable. The first thing we need to do is lay out our tools and materials. You will need a soldering iron, two vices, a jacket stripping tool, a wire stripping tool, and a good pair of wire cutters. I always like to have a sharp blade and a pair of needle nose pliers just in case I need them. The materials I'm going to be using today are Gotham's GAC4 cable and two 3.5 millimeter aux connectors. Before removing the outer jacket, make sure to add the metal housing and the clear shield to your cable. If the shielding's a bit tight, you can always take your needle nose pliers and open it up just a little bit. Make sure to do this on both sides of the cable. You can see where I have pre-scored the outer jacket. If you have never built an aux cable, take the aux pin and hold the back of the aux pin against the cable. I like to cut just a little bit behind the back of the pin. I like to use a jacket stripping tool because it is a lot safer and more precise than a knife. Jacket stripping tools are very inexpensive. They cost about $15 and can be purchased from most electronic stores. With the jacket removed, we can now peel back the shielding. After you peel back all the shielding, remove any filler that's in between the wires. Okay, now that we have our shield peeled back and we've cut away any filler, you can see that we have four wires. As we only need two wires and the shield, I will be combining the red and white wire into one and the pink and the cream wire into another wire. Take your wire stripping tool and strip the wires back approximately quarter inch. Now that I've twisted the red and white wire together and the pink and cream wire together, I'm going to hold up my auxiliary insert and just make sure that is the correct measurement. Before soldering, I want to make sure to tend my wires. I'll take my soldering iron and hold it against the wire for just a few seconds and then add just a little bit of solder. I'm going to repeat this step on the other wire. Now that I've tinned my wires and twisted the shield, I've secured the insert in one vise and my cable in the other. You will notice on the back of the insert that the tip, ring, and shield all have small holes. If your wire is small enough to fit through the hole, place your wire through the hole and lightly solder. Take your wire cutters and remove any excess wire. So what happens if your wire is too big to fit through the hole or there's no hole on the tab on your aux connector. Cut the wire to length and if you're having problems grab your needle nose pliers and put the wire into place. Grab your soldering iron and hold it on the tab for a few seconds and then apply a little bit of solder. Use your needle nose pliers as needed. 
Our final step is to cut and secure the shield. Make sure to cut your shield back equal or just a little bit less than your shield collar. Now that we have the ring, the tip, and the shield secured, we want to double check and cut away any stray shield wires. After we've done that, we just want to apply a little solder to the shield and the shield collar. Our last step will be to slide the clear shield up over the cable and onto the insert. Once we have that in place, we're going to slide the metal housing up and over and screw into the insert. Repeat this step on the other side and you will have completed a high fidelity aux cable.